The company is about to go bankrupt. The company website is unavailable, their customer system is completely inaccessible, and there are frustrated and angry clients flooding their phone lines demanding answers. This isn't just a bad day at the office. This is the third cybersecurity breach they faced this month alone. Confidential data is at risk, and the company's reputation is rapidly deteriorating. It is absolutely chaos, and the manager is about to give up. In this critical moment, the IT team becomes the company's last hope. They're not just fighting to fix the systems, but to actually save the entire company from bankruptcy. Now, this story isn't actually fake. It's a strong reminder of the vital role of IT in our modern world. Everything is online and relying on our technology to just work. But sometimes it just doesn't work by itself, and it's all thanks to IT professionals all around the world. They're really the backbone of any organization. Now, today I'm going to explain what information technology or IT actually is for beginners. First, it is all about using computers and technology to manage and process all sorts of information. Today, it is the foundation of how we communicate, do business and many activities during our free time, like watch this fantastic YouTube video right now. Thanks for being here, by the way. It's from the apps on your phone to massive data centers where all sorts of data are being stored. IT is literally everywhere and touches every part of our modern world. Now, let's talk about the core areas of IT. And first, we have the computer hardware, of course. And that's kind of like the physical part of the computer. There's also the software, which are the programs and applications that run on our computers, such as Google Chrome to browse the web. And in the early days, that was pretty much all we had. Of course, perhaps not Google Chrome, but whatever. But now everything's connected through networks as well. And this is about connecting different systems together. And these networks transmit data or basically information, which we generate all the time. If you think about it, the internet itself is a giant network of sub networks connected together. And it is how all of our devices communicate with each other. It is amazingly complex, yet still works, which is quite the beauty of it. Now, while IT has been around a while now, many things have changed over the years, and the IT landscape is constantly evolving with new technologies and things appearing all the time. Today, some of these technologies include AI or artificial intelligence. We also have cloud computing, and cybersecurity is also a rapidly growing part of IT, because as all of this gets more complex, the potentials and dangers and all of the problems become more and more important to actively prevent. It is really exciting, and when you start a career in IT, you get to follow along with all of these trends in a rapidly growing and constantly evolving field. But how do you start a career in IT? Now, there's not just one perfect way, and I'm not going to try to tell you that in this video, and anybody that tries to tell you that, they're just lying to you. A lot of people will start as an IT help desk technician, or kind of like an IT support, which gives you a little bit of experience in IT and opens you up to many other high paying IT jobs in the future. You can get a degree, you can do some internships, and you can also self-study many things online. But you don't need a degree to get started. There are fantastic online courses to teach you the fundamentals quickly. I'm very happy to partner with Course Careers, which I've done many times in the past, and they also offer an excellent IT bootcamp for complete beginners. The instructor is called Josh, and he has many years of experience and a huge audience on YouTube where he teaches exactly that, well, IT. They've actually helped thousands of people land IT jobs through their bootcamp camp with coaching and it actually has real mentorship a community and lots of other resources as well to help you get a job they even help you connect with actual employers and land a job after you completed the program and it's also really inexpensive compared to other boot camps which usually cost tens of thousands of dollars and perhaps most importantly they have a free intro course to teach you all of the fundamentals of it and how to actually get a job and i'm going to leave a link to this one in the description the free intro course if you're interested and regardless, I wish you good luck on your IT journey and thanks for watching this video.